Hey, how's it going guys? 1FO here, and today I'm going to be showing you these three amazing new scripts for Anime Fighting Simulator. So as you can see, these are all three of the scripts right here, and they're all completely updated for the new season, season 5, so if you're looking for them, I'm going to have them all linked in the description, so yeah. Now starting off, I'm going to come over here to my favorite GUI, which is called Fludex Hub, and this is probably going to be in the first link down in the description if you're looking for it. So I'm going to start on the auto farming tab, and it's pretty self-explanatory, but I'm going to teach you guys how to use it. So the first thing you want to do on this page is come over here, click on the choose a stat you want to farm, and I'm going to do, let's just do sword for now because that's pretty low for me. I'm just going to click activate auto farm, and actually, yeah, so it's going to automatically do it for you, but if you're using something like strength or maybe agility or something, you might want to do auto teleport because let me show you guys that really quickly. If I click strength, and then I have to click activate auto farm and also auto teleport. And that's gonna bring me over here to this dummy. And that's actually gonna give me a lot of more strength. So as you can see, I'm getting like, I don't know how much that was, whoa. Okay, so almost 5K per punch, which is absolutely insane. I've gone from like 1K to 54K, 59K. So you get the idea, really, really OP. And if you disable the auto teleport, it's also going to work just as fine, but of course not even close to as good as it will But like if you have that auto teleport on. So here's it with, and here's without. So you get the idea. Pretty cool stuff here, it's going to bring you back to your original location after you finish it. Right here you can see this is the collectible things that you can get from around the map. So I can auto collect all the ch uh, Chikara shards that are around the map. So here it says I've already collected it because I've been using it already. Here's 86, 92, let's see if I can get any more, 135, okay that's pretty nice. Hopefully this guy doesn't kill me, okay. I don't know what he's doing, he just turned into a titan or something, and I'm dead. But yeah, I think you guys get the idea, that's how you can go around the map collecting all of the Chikara around the map. You can auto collect dragon orbs, which I think there was one, okay so there it is, I just got three. And if you guys can let me know in the comments how I can check my inventory. I have no idea how to check my inventory. Let's see, is it down here? Okay, I have no idea. So yeah, if you guys could let me know, that would be really helpful. Um, but yeah, so here's all the stuff that you can collect. I think I have them maybe... Specials? Okay, I have no clue. But you get the idea. I got my dragon orb. Pretty cool stuff there. Of course, you can also auto-collect your daily quests. And I'm pretty sure I have not completed those because I just joined this game. But yeah, that's how you'd collect them. Right here, this is going to automatically finish all your quests. And that's pretty boring to watch, but I'm not going to showcase that. It does actually work though, so yeah. For champions, of course, I'm not going to be able to showcase this because I have zero shards down here as you can see. But if you do have this, you can automatically select any champion that you want. And it's just going to automatically buy them for you. And as you can see right here, it's going to buy it until you've selected it. But if you come over here, you can also, let's see, is it right at the top? Yeah, non-stop buying. That's just going to like keep buying things forever and it's never going to stop on a specific thing. And right here is all the auto selling things you can do. So you can auto sell any rarity of a champion that you want. So I can do, let's say I don't want any commons and uncommons. I could just check this box. And if I ever get one of those, it's just going to automatically sell it. So that's really good when it's paired with the auto buy, because let's say I'm trying to get something like, let's just say Rengoku, I could just check that and then automatically sell anything that's below that. So pretty cool. Here's the auto boss battle, and something to note about this is when you enable it, you're actually never going to be able to disable it. So if you click this button, it's just going to keep teleporting you over there. And of course it's really really good because you're going to be able to get like, a ton of stuff, but I'm gonna save this for the end of the video, just because I can't disable it. For auto buy, of course, pretty self-explanatory. You can select a shop. Let's just say I wanted to do this, breath styles, or I don't know why I can't click that. But you get the idea, I could just click one of these things, and then select a power that I want to buy. And then of course you need to select a shop first, and then just automatically buy it until you have it. Here's all the stat upgrades you can uh, increase, so I could do strength which is one of my favorite things to do just because it's really fast with this GUI. You could do durability, you can honestly do whatever you want. But as you can see right here, 
I think it just spent, yeah, it spent all of my yen on upgrading strength. So all of my other stats are really, really low, except for speed and... Let's see, can I buy this? Okay, so yeah, I just spent all my yen on this. But yeah, so pretty cool stuff for auto upgrading. Of course, that's meant to be paired with the auto farm. But yeah, here's all the stuff that you can buy. There's buying aura chests. And I think that's everything there is on this page. And then of course, simple teleports to anywhere in the map. And I think the guy who made this GUI doesn't really speak English or he just made a ton of typos because there's like stats farming. I don't know. There's just a bunch of random typos. So just ignore that. But right here, teleports, you could teleport to any of the shop merchants. You can teleport to any NPC. You can teleport to a dimension, which I think might bring you out of the game. So you might have to have it in auto execute. These are all the dungeons the dungeons you can teleport to, and I don't think it lets you teleport to players, so that's a little bit of a downside. I think this one might do that. Okay, so this one doesn't do it either, but you get the idea. Right here is the player tab, where you can actually come over here and target a specific player. So if you can check right here, these are all the people in my game. I could just teleport to someone and kill them, but of course I'm really low leveled, so I think all of these people would just destroy me. Okay, let's see this guy. He's only level 7. Oh wait, no, I forgot we're in the safe zone. Okay, so I can't really show you guys this. But if you're a little bit of a higher level and you just want to like bully people, you can do this. And I think it actually lets you teleport to people, so that's pretty cool. Okay, I don't know what just happened. That guy might have been under the map. Right here, you can bring all of the players right in front of you and then just keep slashing them with your sword. So let's try that right now. Bring all players. And as you can see, they're all right here, and this is just making my game lag so much. But yeah, so here they are. They are going to be taking damage from this, so really, really OP. I think I can actually kill like that low level guy, but yeah. So that's all it is. When you disable this, it's not going to go away unless you reset. But yeah, I think that's all there is. Here's the name and power ESP, which will let you see them through the map. And okay, so here they are. Let's see the players. Yeah, so you can see them in that pile, and then also like when they're normally around the map. But that's all pretty much PvP things that I can't really showcase. For miscellaneous, these are all just a bunch of things you can activate on the GUI. So here's all the keybinds, specials for after your death. Right here, and you can anti-lag, which is going to get rid of all of the like really really high definition textures in the map. And it's just going to make your game run a lot smoother. Right now I'm on like 30 FPS, so I might need to do this. Just gonna click that button. It's gonna lag your Discord. I'm um, not your Discord. It's gonna lag your game for a little bit. And here it is. So, of course, my FPS didn't really go up that much. Okay, there it is. So, I got like an extra 10 FPS from this. But you might wanna increase your graphics quality after doing it. Because so you could like see the map a little bit better. But here it is. So, it just basically makes your game a little bit smoother. Right here, you can join an empty server, which is just gonna let you. Join up, of course, an empty server, which is basically a free VIP server, unless a bunch of people join. But that's just meant for auto farming and things like that. Right here, you can destroy the GUI, which is, of course, just closing it. Here's all the settings and the themes you can change. Okay, so that's pretty much everything on this GUI. And I'm going to move on to the Levia AFS GUI. I'm move this over here. Okay, so here it is. The auto farm is pretty simple. You just come over here, select a auto train thing. I'm going to do train toggle. And right here, as you can see, it's not as good as this GUI off the bat, but it does have everything in the entire game. So you can do like speed, sword, agility, chakra, or pretty much anything that you want. But if you're trying to get a really fast auto farm in, you should be using this one. But everything else in this GUI is just the same as the other one. Right here, you can teleport to Devil Fruit. So here's one right here. And I already have three, so I can't really do that. Here's the Dragon Balls. There's one right there. See if I can pick that up. Okay, so I just completed a daily quest. Let's come back over here. See if I can collect it. Okay, boom. So there's my XP. There's my Yen. So I think that's everything there is on the item farm thing. There's like one item that I can teleport to here, which is Law. I think this is it. Okay, so it says this might be useful for later. Maybe I need to do some like quest line or something. Right here, these are all the places you can teleport to. So I can teleport to any of the dimensions. 
strength places, the durability places, basically anywhere you want to go you can teleport to, including NPCs. Auto buy, this is the exact same thing as this one, so I'm not going to showcase it. But miscellaneous tab, they actually have some pretty good stuff. So I don't know why there's a fly speed if there isn't even a fly, but if you do have a fly on another GUI that might be helpful. For walk speed and jump power, they're getting overridden by this GUI which is the one I'm currently using for walk speed and jump power. But if you do have like only this GUI loaded up, you're going to be able to use this one which is just the same thing. Caps out at 500 and lets you run fast and jump high. For zoom, this is going to unlock your camera zoom so I can make it like a thousand and then just zoom out however like far I want. I can see everything in the map. Right here, you can bring everybody, which is the same thing as the other GUI. Really, really useful for PvPing. Right here, redeeming all of the codes in the game currently. I think I've already done that in my last video, so it's not working. And then of course, the stuff that you can do right here. Anti-display name is going to get rid of everybody's display names and show you their real name. So I'm going to close these GUIs now and show you the final one, which is called Squid Hub. So this UI is pretty weird, it's like long and goes down to the bottom of your page, but here it is. So these are all the training zones you can teleport to. If I click that, it'll bring me here, Meteor, Excalibur, Monster, basically anywhere you want to go you can teleport, Durability, Chakra, but it doesn't have anything else ex except for this. So pretty annoying, I think that's all there is though. Right here, this is just all of your champion things. The boss farm, I would not recommend you guys use this, it wasn't working for me, but I'm going to show you guys this just because I'm about to end the video. So as you can see right here on the boss battle tab, if you click this, it's going to bring you over to the boss battle, and let's see, is it starting? Okay, so it says it's going to start in 3 seconds, and I'm going to show you guys something pretty cool when it does. So there it is, and if I click this right here, freeze boss, it's going to freeze his entire hitbox into this little tiny square. Sorry, I just choked on water. It's gonna put his entire hitbox into this tiny little box and you can just start whacking him with your sword and of course I'm doing like no damage to him at all. I don't know why that's happening. Let's see if I can use my strength. Okay my game is lagging really hard. Okay so there it is. It's going down by like six per hit which isn't great but if you have a lot more damage you can kill him really easily with this. But yeah. So here it is. That's all the stuff on all of these GUIs besides like auto farming things and yeah so i hope you guys like this video if you did be sure to leave a like subscribe if you can and as always peace <music>